tuning in to another edition of Coming to You Live with Marcelo Rojo. Today we're at an annual event that runs from mid-July to mid-August here in Costa Mesa. As you can figure out by the sights and sound and festivities going around us, we're at the Orange County Fair. brought a lot of food trucks from around Southern California to serve their dishes out to the patrons who come here. Now, if food trucks are not really your thing to eat at food trucks, they have a lot of other traditional fair foods that can satisfy your hunger. No fair is complete without showing any livestock, especially pigs. If you think about it, as children, we watch cartoons and we see Porky the Pig. We go to school and we read books like Charlotte's Web. That's why at every fair, the livestock section, and in particular, the pig pen is a popular spot to see. Every time I see the word live, I mistake it for live, which is, it shouldn't be a surprise, and especially if it's in caps like it is behind us. Let's go see what live, eat, and grow is all about. As you've been told already, this year's theme of the OC Fair is Let's Eat. Now, who would ever thought that there's such thing as edible art? Here we are with Marie Pelton, where she's decorating a horse with uh, Tello? It's Tallow. Tallow, Tallow, yeah. sorry. So Tallow is um, animal fat and milk fat mixed with wax. And so it's I, technically a food. Okay, food. And that's what we do is food sculpture. How long have you been doing food sculpture for? I've been doing it for about 10 years. Okay. And is this your first fair? Uh, have you been to many different fairs before? Oh yeah, absolutely. In fact, we were here last year, Jim okay. and I. And so, um, last year we did butter sculpture, um, sculptures, uh, white chocolate, fruits and vegetables, uh, candy. If we think food art, you think of cakes, but never like sculptures or statues like what you're doing with this horse right here, which is looks amazing. I like, can see the detail, the eye, how it's coming out, and like the, the, the material mm -hmm. using the the, tel the tello is really, wow, I'm amazed, because who would have thought? Yeah, know, it's, it's a very versatile material, and also it can be out here in like room temperature, so I don't have to be in a refrigerated room. Oh, okay. And uh, this is actually kind of scaled down a lot. Um, generally, we're, we work very large, and we'll yeah. do like thousands of, use thousands of pounds of material, like do a thousand pound butter sculpture or chocolate sculpture. Oh, Marie, thank you for your time. Yeah. I appreciate it. This is a, I, I can't wait to see the, what the finished product will be, but I'm sure when I look at your website, I'll see other creations of your work in the finished products. Right now, it looks amazing, though. Well, thank you. And thank you can you. go to jimvictor.com, and that's our website. Jimvictor.com. Not a problem. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Marie. Thanks, Marcella. We're about to enter the Ice Museum exhibit here at the fair. Now, I'm excited to go in there and see some of these great sculptures that I've seen, because if you think about it, Ice sculptures events are for fancy bougie parties or if they have like these festivals, they're in China, northern Japan, Alaska, Canada, and other Nordic frozen countries. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what's going to go on in here.
first witness, Charlie Keeling, blowing glass. Now, how did you learn this art, Charlie, about blowing glass? I actually went to Cal State Fullerton. Yes, uh, <laughs> fellow Titan here, that's why. Yeah, no mighty Titans, exactly, <laughs> yes. I uh, was a ceramics major, and I transferred to Cal State Fullerton, where they have a glass blowing program. And that's how I got uh, introduced to the medium. Now, how long have you been doing this? Because I mean, if we saw your artwork here. It's really impressive, and a lot it takes a lot of time. It's something like you definitely have a passion for. Um, I, mean, I refer to it more as a twisted obsession. But, twisted uh, obsession. <laughs> I've been blowing glass for about 22 and a half years now. See this face right here. How long would, would it take for you to create such an art piece? Okay. Here's What's my answer. It takes. For me, 22 and a half years, 45 minutes to an hour, and 9 to 12 hours to cool off. And you can't do the 45 minutes to an hour without doing at least a few years ahead of time and the 9 to 12 hours cooling off, which is called the kneeling. All of the work that I make it takes a bare minimum of 9 to 12 hours to cool off, and that slow, controlled cooling process they call annealing which is the opposite of tempering glass. I, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the work. I, I've never seen a glass blown in person or even on TV, so I really learned a lot here. And I'm sure our viewers here have learned a lot about the art. Thank I like you. Thank you for the time, Charlie. I Certainly. appreciate it. We do uh, narrated demonstrations every day of the fair at 1.30, 3.30, and 6.30. more authentic than this. I say I ate a lot of Philly cheesesteaks at little other so-called Philly cheesesteak clowns places. I never got anything like this. I can't wait to go seek my teeth into it right now. Thank you for watching another edition of Coming to You Live with Marcelo Lau. Today we were at the OC Fair, which once again runs from mid-July to mid-August every year. We hope that you come down here and have your own live experience.